This is awkward. I don't actually know even how to start this video because I can't say hey boomers anymore because now the boomer meme is totally popular and cringe like normies have gotten their dirty little hands on it. So I feel like I can't say it anymore. I think, I think uniboomer is still okay because I don't know about that yet, but calling each other boomers, utter cringe. Uh, so here I am. I'm doing normal, normal stuff, normal life stuff, so if you're wondering why I haven't put up videos, it's just because I'm not the person who forces videos, I have stuff to do, uh, and I'm not gonna like, I'm not the kind of guy who pretends to put things on every day, you know, videos that don't really matter. I haven't had things to make videos on, so I haven't been doing it, but I will have pretty soon. I'm actually, here's my normie work, uh, I've been uh, uh, fixing this circular, so I don't know how old this thing is. It actually already looks a lot better from what it was. It's, it was absolutely disgusting. Now my hand is disgusting. Um, so what am I going to be doing? Uh, Alright, I'll go ahead and say what I was going to say in this video. I don't want to ramble on too long because that would be cringe. Um, but uh, if you've been following me on GitHub or anything like that, I've been committing a whole bunch of stuff and making a bunch of changes. And if you use LARBs, if you use my dot .files, some stuff might have broken. Uh, if you use Mutt Wizard, some stuff might have broken. Just make sure you're using the most recent version. Um, because I'm making a whole lot of changes within the past, you know, 24 hours or so. Uh, why? Uh, let me explain. So, uh, I said that, you know, I had two versions of LARBs. One for Arch Linux and one for Void. Um, now, I'll go ahead and tell you, I'll probably do a video on this later, but I'm not actually using Void Linux anymore. I'm actually, the thing is, I cannot, I could not leave the AUR. Uh, so, I'm actually using Artix now, it's just Arch Linux, but it, but it uses a run it like Void Linux. Um, and, you know, that's fine. I, I find it really hard to leave the AUR, I guess. Um, but, um, so my LARB script, actually, now I'm working it so that it can be installed on pretty much any, I mean, not any distribution, but at least the big ones, um, Arch-based distros, maybe Ubuntu-based, or Debian-based distros, if I uh, have some to test it on. Uh, but also Void Linux as well. I'm trying it on the Arch distros right now, so it should be sort of working. And I also basically just merged the i3 and the uh, DWM desktops. I mean, not, I mean, obviously you can't have both at once, uh, but you can choose between the two now. Um, and it's all, it's all the same script. It's just easier for me. And it's a lot of people have been disappointed, not disappointed, but they like i3, they want to stick with i3, and they like my dot files, and they don't like it that I'm using DWM or whatever. Um, so basically now everything's in one place. You can just make your own decisions and choose which one you want by default. Uh, so that's what's going on there. If you've been confused by that, I know I've gotten emails from people saying it. Oh, this and that broke, and I've been fixing them and stuff. Like nothing, nothing is terribly wrong. I know that I, you know, I'm working on it. Um, but just know that that's happening. Uh, let's see, anything else? Um, I'll go ahead and tell you some norm, not again, like real life stuff. Um, I am here. So here's my house. Let me show you my house. Well, actually, you've seen some of this. I think I took you guys in some video out there to my fire pit over there. I actually have another one here now. I don't know if you can actually see that because I can't see. Oh, yeah. A smaller one here next to my hammock. Um, anyway, this week, this week is uh, Thanksgiving week, which uh, means I don't have my day job. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff this week. Uh, one of them is that I want to build some raised beds. That's something I've been talking about for a while. I didn't do it earlier because I was just sort of waiting for the spring anyway. So I'm going to do it during the winter. And I'll either be doing that this week or uh, during Christmas break. And uh, what raised beds are, if I don't know, you guys don't know. Basically, you know, you plant stuff in them. It's up for, you know, you could just plant stuff in the ground. Raised beds are, they're just a little raised up for different reasons. Uh, it offers some advantages that sort of, I don't know, highlights the, the garden and stuff like that. And depending on how big they are, how tall they are, you can protect them from uh, animals and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be building those again either this week or later in the winter, just before spring. Uh, I'm still deciding, originally I was going to build them out of wood. And this week during, um, yeah, I'm, originally I was going to build them out of wood, but I think I might actually go with cinder block now if I can make it look nice. Um, but either way, i got to spend some money on that because, you know, I can get some cinder block for free, but not very much. Um, but this week I'm going to be a total consumer. Even though I'm middle, uh, living out in the middle of nowhere, I will actually unironically be participating in Black Friday uh, just because there are a couple big, big ticket items I need. Um, uh, that I really want to get a sliding compound miter saw. And there's one I was looking at, you know, uh, Harbor Freight's like higher end, you know, they have, what is it, the Hercules line now, 
uh, which are supposed to be like competitors with DeVault or, or whatever. Uh, but I was thinking about getting that miter saw, and it's going to be going for around 300 bucks. And of course, that's pretty, if it's actually as good as people say, and people have been saying it's pretty good, that's a pretty good deal for that. Especially because I wouldn't just be using that for if I make my raised beds. There's some other things I want to build. Um, but on it, long term, I want to build like a house and kind of stuff like that. Now, of course, I have a house, but let's just say I have land to spread out on that I'd like to use. Uh, and, you know, there, there's just stuff I want to do. I'm going to build bookshelves. I'm going to build... Uh, it's just a bunch of little things, um, and I might be doing videos on those. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't been uh, doing videos recently, it's because, um, I mean, it's really for no other reason other than, uh, uh, you know, I just uh, haven't been particularly inspired to do them. I don't force videos. I probably, I've had the time, frankly. I have been working a 9 to 5 kind of job. Actually, it's more of a 7 to 3 kind of job. Um, but, uh, I have had enough time to work on them. It's just like, I, I've been doing my own stuff, but this weekend I got really back into, um, making changes to my dot files or not really making changes to them, but just like making them more, co making them more usable by people like, uh, by people like you, I guess. Um, anyway. Oh yeah. So I have, I have like random pots all over the place. That's just a pot. So, so I want to see how well. Uh, now around here, now I'm just rambling, okay. Um, around here in, in sort of uh, northern Florida, the ground, like the soil is basically all sandy. So I've been experimenting with how well things grow. So that pot, it's literally just a bunch of sandy soil and I threw beans in it and I'm seeing how well they grew. Uh, or over there I got some, oh this is like the easiest thing in the world to grow, like when you have like green onions. My uncle had some of those and he, you just get so much if you just put green onions in the ground. I mean go to the store and buy green onions for a dollar, and then put them in soil, and they'll grow forever. And I got some other things here. I got uh, some peppers that I got from some people. Uh, got my spices and stuff like that. You know, anyway, it's not super interesting. Uh, but once I get all this, once I get the raised beds built, I have, like, so much stuff I want to plant. I'm ordering, like, uh, some seeds uh, for a bunch of stuff that really just is, I expect to grow relatively well. And I do want to uh, plant some trees and stuff. Uh, I'd really like to have olive trees. Now, I do have some trees. I think I mentioned in my last videos, um, this right here. And now, this, of course, is not in season, as you can tell by the fact it literally has no leaves. Uh, but this is a fig tree. I have two of them. Fig trees changed my life. Okay, I don't think I mentioned... I thought about doing a video on it, because literally, during June and July uh, and sort of August, I would go out here every single day. This one, and I have a bigger one in the front yard. Um, and I just be able to eat figs like for breakfast like non-stop just until I'm sick of them because they just produce so much So I had those and I also have two pear trees one over there and one over there um, And uh, the pears aren't are a little less edible, but you know, that, that's how it was I mean, I they really need to be pruned early on so they get nice and juicy uh, But I wasn't here in time to prune them uh, and I think I mentioned in my last videos I do have grapevines as well but only one of them produced. These weren't pruned uh, uh, either last year, so only one of them produced at all. Uh, and there's a bunch of other stuff here, but um, I got some local at trees that I'll be seeing if they produce uh, in the spring, I think. That's when they come out. But I've never really had loquats. I have, like, a lot of them. I think I have, like, 12 or something like that. It's ridiculous. Uh, all right. Anyway. Oh, and I got a pecan tree. Now, see, now I'm just talking. Now I got a pecan tree, or at least, at least the baby one that my cousin had in his lawn and he wanted to get rid of, so I took it. But that's in the front front yard. I'm not going to walk there. All right, so that's uh, just a random... Uh, that's a series of things that came to my head. Some of them might be relevant to you. Some of them might not. Uh, so I will be doing some videos on a couple things. Uh, just software I've started to use that you might be interested in. And if I actually start building this stuff soon, I'll probably do some videos on that. And uh, yeah, whatever. All right, see you. Can't call you boomers, but I'll see you, gu you guys next time. Uniboomers.